Hey Sagittarius, this is Kim. I'm here to do your reading for the next 48 hours. Thanks for joining me. Um, thank you so much for your donations. You get a private reading for them. And I appreciate all the people that have done that so far. Uh, well, let's start by getting your angel, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Let's ask them to come in to get messages. That's for Sagittarius greater good. Uh, this is... What am I pulling from first? The Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. So we're going to do like a whole top row of these. And then we're going to do tarot and then two different angel um, cards at the end. All right. Sagittarius. Let's see what we have. First card out is Source. Your connection to Source is the light and love that shines through you and leads the way. Your connection to Source is the light and the love that shines through you and leads the way. Source energy. I would think there's even a piece of Source that you are, that makes up what you are. Oh, I like that one. Self-love, Sagittarius. That's a nice one. Um, you know, self-love goes up. Self-esteem goes up. It says, you are learning that your capacity to love others is directly related to your ability to love yourself. Very true. Very, very true. Boundaries. You are learning the gentle art of setting boundaries and saying no. empath you may be confusing other people's energy with your own you may be confusing other people's energy with your own and let's do one more for change 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 self-sabotage you know what i just noticed they all go together isn't that neat cool okay so self-sabotage you may be creating pain for yourself by standing in your own way self-sabotage well that one goes perfectly because it's 50 and 51 those are so neat how they can do that all right so those are our cards from that self-sabotage empath Empathic abilities. There's lots of different kinds of empaths, guys. So look up um, empaths in different types. Um, lots of empaths are feeling, and um, or that's how we get information rather than hearing or visual. Where it's more of a feeling or knowing. All right. So let's get a Celtic cross, like a modified version for Sagittarius. It's the issue, Sagittarius. What's your issue? What's your issue? Two of Pentacles. Juggling things in life. Um, balancing things. Maybe fluctuating money up and down. Uh, but, but this is ultimately finding a balance, even though it looks really hard to do. All right. So it indicates change, too, which five was indicating for change. So what's the challenge here? Getting over heartache, something that either you don't have anymore, you lost, or it, it can be heartache from somebody who cheated on you. I mean, it, it's a loss of job. Anything that causes it to be sad, somebody could have passed away too. Near future. All right. All right, near future. We're closing out a chapter in our life when things were not there. So the energy that just really didn't feel like it was working for you, you know, that energy, that energy to me is represented by the justice in reverse, not for your benefit. Well, it's an end or transformation to those times in your life. Could also be court case, could also be about Libra. All right, spirit advice for you, Sagittarius. Wow, I'm not going to be able to, to walk today. Woo, rain coming down. Queen of Pentacles, 
page of wands in reverse. So Queen of Pentacles in reverse, page of wands in reverse. Spirit advice. Okay, okay, I, I get that. Lovers on the bottom. Queen of Wands in reverse. Page of Wands. The Magician. The Ten of Swords. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who's a little ethically on the tricky side. Either that or this person needs to watch out or you need to watch out um, for extravagant spending things that might be out of your means at this time a uh, page of wands in reverse indicates that if you end up maintaining this type of personality that spends more than they receive or this personality queen of wands reverse someone that's not really uh, showing much bravery and they're not being inspirational at the moment that would lead to some not good news Not the news that you're wanting so the advice is to watch out for those two things one find your courage and two, make sure what you're doing or how you do things and go about things um, Is making sense like it's not over your means. You're not spending more than what you get the magician here with the Ten of Swords indicates a rebirth for me. A rebirth with the Ten of Swords. Um, feeling like you're just done with something, which you probably are the closure transformation in the near future. And the Magician says that whatever this is about, ooh, make sure you manifest uh, right now that it's this time because right now it's like you're ready to do this. You're certainly ready to do this. Gosh, these are so hard. Never mind. <laughs> these are so hard. We're going to do it like this. Let's see what you want to clarify for us, Tarot. All right. And two on the ground that I will get. Four of Swords. I think that is actually meant to go right there. And it's Temperance. Temperance. The Four of Swords. We know that this feels like absolutely being at your rock bottom and having a breakdown. But Temperance is saying here, have a little patience and, and get yourself really balanced. Get yourself balanced because of the Two of Pentacles, but also get yourself balanced because of the Temperance. Could be a Sagittarius that hurt you. Um, but this mainly is about taking time to heal after feeling like you went from breakthrough from breakdown, though. This is that breakdown feeling. Then we have justice, and it happens to be in the reverse again. All right, so we're wanting good news, right, Sagittarius? We're wanting good news, but something isn't even here. Something isn't in balance. Ace of Swords reverse with the justice in reverse. Something really isn't in balance. And there's a truth to a situation that's just not coming out. Not coming out, not being forward. Um, there is the Three Swords energy again. Heartache, loss, or sorrow. Maybe of a job. Maybe of a career or doing something that you were working on and is just not working out right now. Can be relationship motivated too. But we do have Five of Pentacles in the reverse, so that's great. That's coming out of feeling either abandoned or the ending of feeling um, like you have so many money restrictions or financial restrictions. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse and the Knight of Wands. Wow. When I see both of these, I'm thinking, okay, multiple offers to get us out, but there's one offer that you really need to go with, and it's the one that comes in quick. And is really that you're really passionate about this also can be a person that might have abandoned you that goes in and out of your life and isn't a very reliable or dependable person those two scenarios there is what I see for that 
And we have the world sideways, the four of pentacles again. So four of pentacles, um, well, what was I saying? Four of swords, four of pentacles, angel numbers. So the four of pentacles is about building on yourself, investing, maybe having more self-love will help you achieve uh, this new chapter that you're really wanting. All right, so we're gonna put that there, and I think that's what's gonna make everything flip around is your self-love and investment in yourself, okay? Let's get one of these cards, Diana Cooper's Archangel cards. Let's get one of these. Oh, you are the second one to get that. Leo got the first one, I believe. Archangel Perlimic. Limic? Perlimic. Let nature soothe you and serve the nature kingdom. Wow. All about growing things. This is like giving me an empress feel, too. Let's do a couple yes or no questions from the Ask Angels, and then I'm going to wrap up your reading. Sagittarius, what question is number one for you? Yes or no? There's something better. Sagittarius, there's something better. Second question, yes or no? Listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Looks good, guys. Hey, thanks for joining me. Sending you light and love. Appreciate everybody. And um, thank you all. See you in your next reading. Bye-bye.